Today we introduce and demonstrate our model, the Sports Merchandise Planner. We designed the SMP for a general merchandise retailer which sells sports apparel, specifically baseball jerseys, in 27 different stores across North America. These stores are located in the same cities as the 30 MLB teams. The model functions as a dynamic forecasting and merchandise optimization tool. It data queries for each team and gathers statistics such as pay, all-star votes, length of contract, and performance statistics, including batting average for batters and ERA for pitchers, as well as each team's win-loss percentage. From these statistics, the model calculates a performance score for each of the active 560 MLB players. Since demand for baseball jerseys is closely tied to each player and team performance as the season progresses, the model will favor the jerseys of high-performing players and teams. Using these statistics and a number of user-defined constraints, the model output tells the user the optimal type and number of jerseys for each of its stores to order. The idea is that the user would run this model each time they reorder inventory. This optimization can be run by an individual store manager for a particular store or by a corporate headquarters for all 27 stores. Now, we'll walk you through a demonstration. We're going to run the optimization for an individual store. Go to this menu and select your user type as local store optimization. Then, simply click Run Optimization. On this user form, you can enter a number of constraints that allow for custom inventory selection. First, select the store location. In this case, we'll select Tampa Bay. Next, enter the amount of jerseys you need to order, say 1,000 jerseys. Next, select how many different types of jerseys to buy, say 15. Clearly, the merchandise assortment should favor the home team over others to account for the fact that there are more Tampa Bay fans in Tampa Bay than there would be in San Francisco. In this case, the user can select a minimum percentage for the number of jerseys allocated to the home team, let's say 15%. In addition, you can enter the max quantity of any one player to make sure that no single player's jerseys represent a disproportionate amount of the inventory. You can also enter a minimum number and even specify a minimum number of teams to offer if it is important to maintain a specific level of variety in the product assortment. In this case, we'll set the tool to five teams. Another important and really useful user input is the must-have player constraint. To account for national sensations like a Tim Tebow or reliable stars like Derek Jeter, you can actually specify up to three players that must be included in the order. This drop-down menu includes all 560 players but it can be easily searched by typing in the player's name. So let's select Robinson Cano and Miguel Cabrera, and we'll just go ahead and leave the third one blank. Once all the inputs have been entered, click here to run them. Here we got an error message warning the user that the max quantity of jerseys must be greater than the total number of units divided by the total number of SKUs. If that's the case, the model will not be able to fill the entire order even if it gave the maximum quantity to all SKUs. The tool includes a number of warning messages like this that prevent the model from running with invalid constraints. Once these messages appear, the subroutine exits and returns the user to the form to edit his data. So let's change the max quantity and run the model. The optimization is combining solver and an extensive amount of coding and for loops to solve the problem if the user has presented it. Upon completion of the optimization, you are presented with an order form that shows the store location at the top and a summary of the user input constraints. Below, there is a form that summarizes both the quantity and the variety of jerseys to order. The order form page is designed so that upon completion of the model, you can print out this page and fax it to your vendor to immediately place the order. Also above, we can see that the actual percentage of players from the home team was 30% compared to the 20% we specified and that we actually have 10 teams represented compared to the five we specified. Thus, we have a very diverse merchandise assortment. After printing this page, the user can click on this button to return to the home page. Once the optimization is run, you can also create a number of graphs to visualize the results. If we want to, for instance, see a pie chart on how much each team is represented in our order, we can select quantity of jerseys by team and click on the create graph. We can see that the Rays represent here the largest portion of any one team, which is fitting since we ran the optimization for Tampa Bay. We're going to briefly show now how the national optimization project, uh, model works. 
If ordering jerseys is a central process done by headquarters, then the user would select National Chain Optimization and click Run Optimization. The user form here is similar to the one for Local Store Optimization. However, on the second tab, the user is able to enter a different quantity of jerseys for each individual store. This is needed because stores may be of different sizes, have differences in demand, and so on and so forth. This optimization can take from 2 to 3 minutes on a more powerful computer, or up to 20 on a slower one. So for time's sake, we ran the optimization previously and we'll walk through the results. Here's a national order form similar to the other one, but as you can see, it is significantly longer. As you scroll through, you can see the inventory for each store. Returning to the home page, you can create a number of graphs available from this drop-down menu, which updates depending on the type select. If you'd like to see how much inventory is coming from their top 15 jerseys, so you can be sure that you're not stocking too much of any one player, you can select this graph. Additionally, since this graph is created from a pivot table, you can change the amount of products that you wish to view. Instead of graphing the top 15 SKUs, they might want to see only the top 5. If the national user would like to analyze the model's results in other ways, you can create a pivot table by clicking here. In summary, we believe this model will streamline the inventory ordering process for baseball merchandise retailers by providing dynamic forecasts of player demand throughout the season.